come over here. And the bookcase. I'm sort of little and hired to see, but if you listen to me, boys and girls, I'll tell you about the greatest teller of fairy tales in the whole world. The famous Hans Christian Andersen. But first, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Charles Evergood, but they call me the God of Dreams. <laughs> Now, really, kids, do I look like a god to you? Why, I'm merely just a little old man of magic. Who works at night? So when you children go to bed and are all covered up, that's when my magic begins. It's only then that I sneak up on you on tippy toes and blow my magic like this. There. <laughs> it's then that your fairy tale dreams begin when you're fast asleep. And now, these are my magic umbrellas. Now, this one is for all the good and very nice children. Their dreams will start with the turn of the umbrella. And they will see a whole night of beautiful fairy tales. On the other hand, this black umbrella is for the very bad children who misbehave. And if I open it up, those children won't ever see a fairy tale in their dreams. However, they can always change. But for you kids, who are always obedient, not lazy, and work, I have a fairy tale for you. And now, boys and girls, let me get on with the show. I'll use my magic umbrella to spin a Hans Christian Andersen tale for you, the Snow Queen. Our story begins in a small European village with Yvette and John tending their flower garden. Yvette, John, look at that Yvette, bird. pay attention. You're supposed to be watering the flowers, oh, not the man down John, there. I'm so sorry. I'm glad he didn't see me. Oh, look, John, another bird. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, they must be lovebirds. How cute. No, no, Yvette, they're not lovebirds. They're swallows, and the male is bringing a twig to build a nest for them. John, isn't nature beautiful? And by the way, I have a present. Look at this beautiful flower I have for you. How do you like this flower for you, Yvette? Huh? Oh, how lovely. Thank you, John. Let's put them together. Good idea. One pot with two flowers together forever. Just like us. These flowers will grow together and love each other, always, like we will. Yvette, oh, I hope we will be together forever. Oh, I know we will. John! I'm coming. Yvette? Coming, Mother. Goodbye, Yvette. I hope to see you later. I'm sure you will, John. Later. <laughs> Their love lasted through the seasons. Soon, the autumn rain turned to winter snow. On one of those cold and dreary nights, John and Yvette were sitting with their grandmother, waiting for the tea kettle to steam. Well, kids, tea's ready. Won't that taste real good tonight? Mm, oh, it's nice to be sitting here so warm and cozy when it's snowing so hard out there. John, look. Look at those beautiful snowflakes. There are so many of them. There must be thousands of them. 
Please tell us, where do all the snowflakes come from? Grandma, please? Well, if that snowflakes come from the far north. They're the servants of the Snow Queen, you know. Have you wondered why the oceans roar? And why the wind screams? They're telling you the story of an angry queen. They're telling you the story of the Snow Queen. They're telling you the story of the Snow Queen. She sits in a frozen palace on an icy throne so fine. And the Snow Queen can freeze your heart and send chills down your spine. Don't let beauty fool ya All ya boys and girls The Snow Queen has the power To freeze the whole world The Snow Queen has the power To freeze the whole world The Snow Queen has the power The power The power Yvette, there's nothing there. Boy, are you a fraidy cat? Oh, Grandma, she looked so real. Oh, John, what if the Snow Queen does come here? Boy, I'd like to see her try. Why, I'd put her on the stove and let her melt like a snowball. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, John. <laughs> She'd be a puddle of water. <laughs> <laughs> and you are dancing on thin ice. A puddle of water, eh? I am the Snow Queen. And you shall witness my magical powers. Arise, my cold and bitter wind. Be off with the icy dust of the north. Fly fiercely into the eyes and hearts of that miserable little boy. It's a blizzard. Hey, Beth, let's look. Oh, oh, oh. 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 look, the Snow Queen. Quick, close the windows. See that I'm perfectly all right. Well, I was only trying to help. Oh, look at the flowers. What's happening to them? Oh, who cares about your stupid flowers? Let's go play, huh? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> John, come back. Grandma, what's happened to John? Please oh, throw me. Hey, 
Don't worry, my child. <laughs> it was sad indeed. <laughs> John's heart <laughs> turned cold as ice. There was nothing Yvette could do. On top of that, he became a rascal, too. Mm, it was a terrible shame. But no one knew that in John's eyes and in his heart, <gasps> a spell had been cast. <laughs> Okay, you want to ride? Mm -mm. You don't want to ride on my sleigh? Mm -mm. Get on. Oh. Trust me. Phew, isn't this fun? Oh, no. <laughs> Give me the ride of your life, oh, eh? Don't. <laughs> Some ride, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, John. What's gotten into you? I, I don't understand. John, at last we meet. I am the snowball you were going to turn into a puddle. I'm sorry. Won't you please forgive me? Why do you tremble with fear? Oh, I'm scared. Come to me, John. Why are you frightened? I won't hurt you. I don't know. Everything is different. Believe me, John, I would never do anything to hurt anyone. Are you sure? 
gone, swept away by the Snow Queen. It was a long and bitter winter for Sweet Yvette. She missed him even more in the spring. So Yvette decided it was time to do something about it. It was time to set out in search of her love on her own. So Yvette kissed her grandmother goodbye and the brave little girl began her journey. Tell me, please, have you seen my dear John? Goodness, Goodness no! no. We've, We've been, been far to, to the south, south all winter. winter! Little goat, maybe you know where John is. Bah, bah, I'm just a kid. I don't know anything. Bah, bah. River? River? Tell me, please, have you taken my John? No. I will give you my new shoes. Oh, but don't you want my present? Oh, great river, you know all. Please help. I know you know. Please accept my shoes as a present. And help me find John. Oh, thank you. Oh, great river, you will help. Oh, where are you taking me? The river is helping me find John. Could you tell me where I am? What is all the commotion? Well, who are we here? Let me help you, dear. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I am Mrs. Pennyworth, and who are you, my dear? My name is Yvette. Will you stop this infernal racket? Now! I said stop this racket now! Oh, you poor little child, you must be tired and hungry after your long journey. No, thank you. I'm okay. Oh, now, come, my child. Don't be frightened. I I'm not frightened. I must find my friend John. Oh, all in good time. Now you must first come rest and have something to eat. Oh, okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Do you live here? Oh, and look at all the beautiful flowers. Come along, Yvette. Oh, my dear, you can play in the garden later. <laughs> Come on. Oh, all right. Oh, but now, now you must get some rest. And later you can tell me all about your friend John. And why you've traveled so far from home. Oh, come on, Yvette. Lie down now and relax. Yes, I am a little tired. It's so beautiful here. That's it. Relax. Just put everything out of your mind. And sleep. That's it. Sleep. Oh, you have such beautiful hair. Oh, everything will be fine. Sleep. Sleep now. Now, 
Now you must be wondering just who this Miss Pennyworth is. Well, I'll tell you. Actually, she's really a witch. Now, don't you worry yourself. She's not the kind of witch that is really wicked, you see. A lonely Miss Pennyworth would have done just about anything to keep Yvette with her. But that was not to be. doing sitting on that rock? Huh? Who are you? My friends call me Hector. And my name is Yvette Hector. Child, what's a pretty little girl like you doing on this here lonely beach? Aren't you a little afraid that something bad could happen to you, Yvette? Huh? Hector, certainly not. But perhaps you can tell me something. I'm looking for my friend John. And by the way, I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Really? Is he your boyfriend? Yes. And I love him so much. Will you please help me? Well, maybe I can, and maybe I can't do it. You see, things like that all depends on how Hector, I feel on me. any particular day. Now. This might be just one of those days when I what feel like him? sharing what it is I know about this boyfriend of yours. Uh-huh. Now, in that case, child, this could be your lucky day. Oh. Know what I mean? I, I think I do. Does this mean you'll help me find him? Certainly, then. You knew I would. <laughs> This boy is blonde-headed just like you, huh? That's him. Well, I tell you, he's at the palace. Just up the road. Oh, Hector, this is wonderful. Let's go quickly, quickly. Hey, hold on there, child. I, I don't run too good. Well, Yvette, this here's the palace. 
Oh, Hector, this is so beautiful. And look at all the people. The princess loves to throw parties. Hector, baby! Hey, Louise, light on down! Ah, Yvette, my wife, Louise. How do you do? Louise works here at the palace. Yvette has come to see that blind kid. Can you help her? Hector, sweetheart. Your timing is impeccable as usual. Now, anyone as pretty as Yvette would be more than welcome in the palace. However, well, this is the event of the season. What does that mean? It means, my dear, that you got to be wearing some shoes. Oh, no. Just a calm dog second here. Now, Louise, this child's got to get in there. Well, I suppose if she must, it can be done. Well, you wait right here till Hector and I get back. All right, I'll wait. Goodbye. Get back. Oh, now you gotta have faith, child. It's all worked out. <laughs> Come along now. We got to be real quiet because they're all asleep. Oh, I'm so scared. You're gonna need this. Thank you. <laughs> Why, that ain't nothing but an empty suit of armor. Come on now. Let me show you this here. See, there ain't nobody at home. See there. Come on. Hurry. Thank you, Louise. Wait for me! Gonna have to clean this up. Louise, do you know what room John's in? up now a bit. I know you're anxious, but there's guards all around here, and we're gonna get caught. They're gone. That was scary. Well, we was lucky this time, child. Now do as I say, stop talking and start walking. Oh, look, another suit of armor. Nobody home. See? Oh, really? You had better look again. My, I'm sorry. Please don't wake up, Mr. Guard. How much farther, Louise? This is it. Oh, thank you, Louise. What an 
grand bedroom. I can't believe I finally found him. John, it's me, Yvette. My word, we is in trouble. I think you're right. Who are you? Oh. 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 Hector! Louise, the front door. Quick, oh, Louise. Back door, quick. Wings don't fail me now. We are in front. Hurry, hurry. hurry. Oh. Let's fly this coup. Charge! I told you the back door. And I told you the front door, Louise. Oh, oh my God. Oh! Hey, oh. This ought to stop them. Oh. oh! Now, that's better. What is this all about? Oh. Sire, please forgive me. Ouch! Make these feather pluckers stop! Don't be afraid, poor girl. No one will harm you. So tell me, to what do I owe this honor of your visit? Oh, Prince, I made a terrible mistake, you see. We thought my friend John was here, so they snuck me into oh, the house. Oh, how exciting! I thought you were John. Me? Yes, I've looked all over the world for him. Oh, how romantic! Imagine searching the world for your love. Help! 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 Free the crows! Oh, thank, thank you. you, honey. Attention! And now, to your left. About face. March. Huh. You just can't find good guards these days. Now, don't you fret, little girl. Why don't you just forget about the guy? Hmm? Boys, they don't understand anything about love. I think they all have hearts made of ice. Ice. It was a clue for Yvette. But she was just too broken hearted to recognize it. The poor girl looked for John everywhere, except the most obvious place. Let's take a look. Okay. Let me get this thing moving. Yeah, Yvette was right about looking for John in the palace. Ah, here it is. Problem was, she chose the wrong one. The icy top of the earth is what she wanted. Hey, you guessed it. John is in the palace of the Snow Queen. This one's perfect. Snow Queen, I think I've found what you're looking for. You're right, John. It's beautiful. Snow Queen, it is beautiful, but you know they just don't have the good smell of flowers. I know. But that's not important, John. Trust me. Then, what use are they? I just don't understand. I've told you hundreds of times that all you have to understand is the smell of flowers. Beauty and joy, love and happiness do not exist. You must forget about these things, John. That is all you have to understand. Forget. Right. Forget. Do you know? 
know what happiness is, John? No. And beauty? I really don't know. Do you even know what love is? Oh, no. Snow Queen. But I do. Remember Yvette? Yvette! You do? Yes, I remember Yvette. So you still remember Yvette? Well, you'll forget about her also. Soon, your whole heart will turn to ice. And then, my dear John, you'll be with me forever. My dear Yvette, a little going away present. Oh, Prince, it's magnificent. Don't forget this. Thank you. Thank you both so very much. Bring her apples, bring her pears. Gather goodies from everywhere. Give her crackers, give her dip. In case she's hungry on the trip. Bring the grapes and bring the ham. Give her all the food we can. Chicken, turkey, cracker, jack. Just in case she wants a snack. Have a safe journey. thing, my dear. You look so nice and rich. Oh, no, I'm not rich. I'm Yvette. Don't you lie to me, dearie. Oh, I can smell your money. Ouch! Oh, stop that! You stop butting my ears! Stop it, you ugly little brat! Oh, are you crazy? Stop it! Biggle, he's mine! That muff! You give me the fur, now I want it! Of course she, of course it's yours, just put the knife away! Put me down, please, <laughs> please! Unhand Oh, her. no, please don't hurt me! See, nobody messes with me. Of oh, course they think I'm oh. nuts, you see. Oh, thank you. Give me those mittens! Sure, they're yours, here. Oh, and I also want that hat! Oh, oh, anything you want, anything. Ha, ha, ho, and a pile of gold, aha! Let's take it! And you, blow with me! Please don't hurt me. Let's go! Ha, ha, ha! Ah! Ha! Golly, Ollie, 
they're taking the couch. Oh, for me, sure for me. I. Ah! Ah! Yo ho ho, we've got the gold. Here we got the gold. Yo, yo ho, we got the gold, and we're having a wonderful time. <laughs> we're crooks, we steal. We're the bunch of heels. We think what's yours is mine. Ah! We rob, we're slobs. We never look for jobs, but we're having a wonderful time. We lie, we cheat. We're the worst you'll ever meet, but we're having a wonderful time. Yo ho! Get that stuff unloaded! Hurry, boys! Now you stay right here or I'll tie you up like them. The reindeer, the fox, and this dove, too. They're all my pets. The dove, it's so beautiful. I'll throw it away. See those rabbits over there? And the fox. Oh, no. And this reindeer, I have total control of its life. See, I can do anything I want to. Isn't that right, reindeer? She, please don't hurt him. I understand. Right, you better understand because now you're one of my pets too. All right then. Pet, if you stay with me, I'll let them all go. Okay. We're free! Free! Yes, yes we're free. free. And now for your part of the bargain, girl, it's time for you to be tied up. How do you like that, pet? Does this mean you'll let them go now? You promise. Why? Why are you sitting down? Oh, she, aren't you going to untie them? Well, I'm not sure. If I want to or not. You promise. So what? Promises are made to be broken. Sit down. Who are you anyway? My name is Yvette. We steal, we're the bunch of heels, we think what's yours is mine. We rob, we're slobs, we never look for jobs, but we're having a wonderful time. We lie, we cheat, we're the worst you'll ever meet, but we're having a wonderful time. And then the Snow Queen took John away, and I've been searching for John ever since then. Oh, she please help me. The Snow Queen? I know all about her. She's the most wicked, cold-hearted woman in the universe. Look, I don't know how, but some way, somehow, I'll help you find John. I will. Hooray, Hooray for, for she. she! Deep down inside, we always knew that she was a good person. Yes, yes we, we knew. knew. And how did you know that? I knew. I told her so, and I knew she didn't believe it. Right. All she needed was a chance to show it. That's, That's the truth. truth. Help me, please, will you? Oh, Yvette, if she will let me, I will take you. I know exactly where the Snow Palace is. I was going to be the one to help her. But Reindeer knows the way. Sit down. When I want something to happen, I'll make it happen. She has the power. That's right. She certainly does. It's dangerously cold. She let me do this for you. No way. Please, let him. I said no, Yvette. Oh, please. Sleep. It's time 
for you to go. I'm ready. Reindeer? Huh? What's going on? Well, reindeer, so you think you can do a better job than me, huh? Well, you're gonna get a chance to prove it. Go on. Oh, Shay, thank you. I'm deeply honored, and you won't regret it. Hooray! 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 I love it. She's letting him go. Hooray! 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 this nonsense or I'll change my mind oh quiet please she don't change your mind all right oh. you're free vet here take this stuff the hat these mittens and take this too so you'll be warm when you see John she smiled she smiled did you see that oh and now you too you better get along oh thank you for everything she I'm you going just be to careful. miss you now, reindeer, if you fail me, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you take care too, she. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. I'll worry about you anyway. Sloppy and demons. Now you get out of here. Reindeer, fly like the wind and take good care of me, Beth. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Gone. I will, she. Goodbye, she. Goodbye. Because I know it would make you happy. I'm letting all the animals go free. Go on, get out, all of you. You bore me anyway. <laughs> and you too, you silly birds. Harry, and you, you stupid looking animal. I really should be cutting your throat. <laughs> hey, she's crying. Let's see if she's all right. Let's go Let's back. Go back. Okay. We can't <laughs> leave her like this. Oh no. What did I do? I really love them and now I'm all alone. She, she don't, don't cry. cry. We're not leaving. We love you. We really love you and we're going to stay. Take me a minute to get my bearings. I'm not worried, reindeer. I have faith in you. Oop. What is it? We'd better get out of here fast. Is there something wrong? Just hang on. Solid ground? We're out of danger. There's a cabin not far from here where we can rest. There, that should keep us warm. And the Snow Queen has my friend John. The Snow Queen, my dear girl. Well, you better forget about him. Why, she can turn your bones to ice. But I love him and I don't care what happens to me. He bet. If the Snow Queen gets hold of you, you'll care. And by now, John is probably a popsicle. You lie, you lie. I know my John is all right. Reindeer, could what Nada say be true? If Foolish so girl, of course what I said to you was true. But I will help you. How? How? Magic. This message will tell the Elder what power you need, and she will grant it. Now, give this to her. Thank you. Good luck to you, my child. Bye. Look, other reindeer. Hey, it's good to see you guys. It's good to see you, too. Where are you going in such a hurry? Why don't you ask them if we're heading in the right direction? Are we close to the hut of the Elder? Yes, you'll be there by nightfall. But what's your rush? No time to explain now. 
Elder. Yes? Elder, Maida sent us, and the girl is sick. Help us, please. Of course I will. Do you have any idea what's wrong with her? Oh, my Lord, let me get her inside. She's freezing to death. What is this? Ah. Oh. You need the strength of twelve men to fight the Snow Queen. Oh, John, my love. Oh, Elder, you must give her the power to conquer the Snow Queen. The power? The power of twelve men? Why, Yvette doesn't need that. This child has much, much more. She has a strength of a loyal heart, and that's all Yvette needs to conquer the treacherous Snow Queen. <laughs> she will defeat her. Oh, Elder, you're right. I feel stronger already. Oh, what's happening? It's the bitter wind of the Snow Queen. Hurry, child. Go away, child. You'll freeze without these. Leave it! Leave it! Come back! Come back! You'll die without these! Come back! Oh, come back, Yvette! I must get to John. Goodbye, Elder. Oh, you have no idea the cruelty the Snow Queen is capable of. Please come back, my child. Oh, hurry, reindeer. You must keep going. Oh, I know you're tired, but please don't give up now. I don't know if I can make it even. Please try. I can't. Forgive me, Yvette. Oh, reindeer, please don't die. Please don't. Oh, reindeer, please forgive me. I never meant for this to happen to you. I love you. Now I must go. I must continue. I'll be back. I promise. Don't worry about me. You won't stop me. Nothing you can do will stop me now. One almost fits. Hmm. But not good enough. Hmm. hmm. This is pretty good. There. Oh, it's John. John. It's me, John.
beat it. But John, tell me what's going on. You act like you don't know me. Keep away. Go on, keep away. But John... Oh, John, how could you do this? You've got uh -huh. to come home with me, don't you remember? Two flowers forever. Please, John, I love you. Oh, it's hot. And hurts. Right here. Uh, 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 what's happening? Oh, John, a tear. It worked. Your heart isn't ice anymore. Where am I? What's going on? My sweet John. Yvette, oh, my sweet Yvette, is that really you? Oh, John, you are okay. I've got you back. Yes, yes, I'm fine. This is so wonderful. We're together again. Yes, of course we are, silly girl. Oh, John, I love you so much. And I love you, Yvette. Oh. It's as though nothing ever happened. Yes, two flowers forever, remember, Yvette? Of course, silly. I just told you that. Huh? What's going on? It's the Snow Queen. Here she comes. Quick, John, let's get out of here. It's no use. We can't get away from her. You can't have him back. You no longer control him. Your power is gone. Please. I love him so. And the ice in his heart has melted. And he loves me. Please. The elder said that my loving heart is stronger than your power. So we're not afraid of you. You're right, my dear. You have won. Look out of it! But look, John, she's melting. You're right, Yvette. You have one. Yvette. John. We, we did it. it. Hooray. It feels so good to be home, Yvette. And we'll never be apart again, John. Promise me. That's right, Yvette. Two flowers together forever. Hold on. Hold on. Remember me well, children. I hope you enjoyed the story of the Snow Queen as much as I enjoy telling it to you.